Hello, hello, lads and girls. This is Lord Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of PC Building Simulator. And uh, speaking of building, we actually need to do a little building here. Uh, let's start off with a power supply. That is always nice. And uh, then uh, we would like a lemma board. Here we go. All nice and fancy. Then we got some storage. Did I forget to buy a CPU for this? Talking AMD. Uh, and uh, <gasps> players unknown battleground. And we want to recommend the 4K, right? Yeah. And. Uh, they recommend an i7-7700 for that. Uh, maybe I should uh, look what the equivalent are. Let's see, 7700 is a 1600. Damn, 16 cores. Nice. <laughs> well, could get the 1600X even. Okay, so... Uh, This is the one where we were going with that gigabyte motherboard. I'm just gonna check that I have everything now, because... Uh, I feel like I was a little off on my game. Okay, so we have a gigabyte board. Oh, we actually have this one too, the Gaming 7. Oh, it looks so good though. And we also have the EVGA. But we don't want to go with that because we want the Gigabyte. And I have one of these here too. I don't even remember what Oh yeah!
<laughs> I totally forgot about this. This look like it could be a really good uh, LAN PC. Like if you go to a lot of LANs, it seems like it would be easy to just uh, grab it and and go there. <laughs> but yeah, there's some lot of room up here. I don't think there would be uh, problems with uh, airflow. <laughs> Overpower, man. <laughs> That's how we like it. One thousand one hundred. Talk about overkill. Okay, so let's throw this together. <laughs> uh, I can barely have that cooler in there. It looks so stupid. I love it. Um. Wait a minute. Do I need to... This doesn't seem to be able to have a, an M.2 drive. Okay, so I might have to actually buy a normal SSD for this. Good thing I shipped. Got uh, one of those then, and I want to see the delivery. Okay, so these are for two and a half inch, and these are for three and a half inch. Got it.
Uh, okay, let's uh, put my cooler back on now. Um, it wants to. Okay, I actually think we got everything in there. And I mean, for a civilization gaming rig, this seems pretty... pretty goddamn good. Yeah, and it's capable of doing it. That is what I call a LAN rig. Going into the BIOS. Oh yeah, we can't do anything with the RAM. Because it was that kind of low speed. Because <gasps> this motherboard doesn't support more. Still though, that is a really nice slow. Little bill there. Well, I mean, at least I have an SSD in there. And kind of surprising over how much room there were for, um, for disk space. Because I mean, there are two, three and a half, and two, two and a half. Well, um, right now I would say we need to get all of you in the red. And I'm not very worried about the voltage now. Because <laughs> uh, we got some pretty good parts there. Okay, let's try and push you up to 300. Wow, is it really that good of an airflow in here? Well, I guess both of the sides are mesh, so... I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Should we try for 500? Uh, 500? Okay, that was a little much. So let's try like 450. Uh, 
But still though, I want this little beast to be... Beastly. Okay, it's hitting 90. But it is 126% overclock. Which I guess I really can't complain about. Okay, let's have it run a 3 mark score 2. And uh, now we can continue with this. Got a little sidetracked. And here we're going to put a 1080 in. Oh yeah, I put the Ember 2 in. Good. I almost thought I forgot. Okay, we still have a lot of money left, so uh, I guess we fill up on RAM. Still a lot left. Well, let's connect all, all the cables. Oh yeah. Looking pretty sharp. Okay, let's put on the PCI lock. Okay, uh, a better graphics card than this is like all that it will need. But we put a 9900K in there. And I can't say that the motherboard was really good for this. But still, I, I like the case actually. Especially since I was trying to go for a kind of small build. And it looked really good. Oh. Let's just try and get this up to 31, see what happens. Get some 3D mark. Not sure if there is any RGB, but uh, let's do it anyways. Uh, GPU tuner and OCCT. It's my standard programs. I always install these. It doesn't matter what kind of build I do. Almost. There are some. Oh no, I didn't do it. Okay, the CPU is actually a bit hot. Okay, it's hitting 90, so we're not gonna go any higher at all.
Alright, let's just go like that. Pushing it with like 200. Three hundred. Okay, now they're both about uh, eighty-nine, ninety. So I feel like that is a good spot to end. And I'm just gonna make a run here, and I will be right back. Okay, there we are, and I'd say this is. Pretty darn good. And I think this little guy is gonna get pretty happy with what he receives. The new PC does just what I wanted it to. Install gigabyte parts, only use new parts. Yeah, that was the small little one. The little guy. And then we get this one. I love my new rig. Installed AMD parts and used only new parts. Alright, awesome. Oh, we unlocked another uh, 1070 Ti. A water cooled one. And what's this? Send. Uh, Ooh, a thread ripper board from Asus. Yeah, that is looking pretty darn cool. Anyways, I think I'm gonna end off this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Until then, bye-bye!